Hello guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to make another episode of a missionary story time. Um, today I'm going to be sharing a story of uh, a story that happened in my last area, which was Sydney, uh, Ohio. Um, I guess it was in Piqua. We spent most of our time in Piqua, Ohio, which was part of another elders, the Piqua elders area but we covered like half of it, but we were known as the Sydney Elders. Um, it was confusing, but anyways, we were there and it was my last area. Um, and so I was, I was pretty trunky, like most missionaries by the end of their mission. Um, little did I know that I'd want to go back very badly, but that's a different um, thought. Um, um, but me and my, elder, my companion, the cook um, would walk around, of course, and try to meet people. It was about October, end of October, or early November. I think it was the about the end of October before Halloween. Um, we were out walking, um, trying to find investigators, of course, and uh, we would would kind of make a loop. Um, kind of would go up and around and go down like majority of the main roads because uh, that's where normal, a good amount of people would be to talk to and it was getting dark um, pretty quickly it was about I'd probably say like 6 30 7 7 30 I don't know 7 8 o'clock at night um, and so it was pretty dark um, end of October it's pretty dark um, and we were walking there was this always this sketchy house that we always walk by um, and the windows and stuff were all boarded up and it was pretty run down it wasn't like a house somebody would be living in you could tell it was probably like a um a drug uh, meetup um you know home homeless people might break into it to sleep there for the night type of home um and every time we walked past it there the doors were always shut and no issues or whatever whereas when we're sitting there me and him are just both walking he's on the side of where the house is we're just both walking and talking and both of us, as we were talking, we look up at this house at this one particular night, um, and there's a dude just sitting there in a chair in the, at, the, at the, the front door, just sitting there. It was a big dude. And both me and him catch glances of him right at the same time, and we just both just stop talking. Because usually we sit there and BS back and forth, you know, discussing whatever. And uh, um, we are just BSing, and we both caught eyes, and we just both went completely silent. And I could just hear Elder Cook, and he's just like, mm. as we're walking past, and I, I, I died. I, 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 I thought for sure we were dead. I didn't know what was going on. I just, I zoned out and just quit talking. And silent, just for like the next like three minutes, till we were up on the like the next road, and then afterwards I was like, bro, did. Or excuse me, Elder, did you, uh, did you, did you see that guy? And he was like, "Yeah." I'm surprised you didn't hear me. I was like, "I heard a noise coming from you. I wasn't sure what it was for." And he's like, "It was because of that dude." <laughs> it was so bad. It was so sketchy. So, so there must have been like some drug deal going on. And that dude's like out watch, you know. And so we just out of anywhere and at any time we walk, literally did a did the loop. We were walking back through, trying to see if we could see that guy again. This time we walked on the other side of the road. We came up and the door was shut. Everything was done. And like it was, it was the most sketchy thing because there's, a, it's not a running house. There's not electricity, so it's just pitch black. And we just see this figure sitting there in a chair, just like. And we were like, maybe it's like a, maybe it was like a decoration for Halloween. But when we walked back through, it was gone. So we were just both super sketched out. We didn't know what was going on. Um, <laughs> Elder Cook was over there. And Elder Cook's not a small guy like I am. I'm puny. And Elder Cook, big dude, big dude. And he's just like, mm. like I thought for sure he cracked himself. Um, but yeah, it was super funny. Um, great stories that you gained from the mission. Uh, I have a ton more to tell. Um, I just wanted to say that one. I kind of wanted to put things in... Uh, Chrono chronological order of my mission, but doing some stuff today, I I uh, thought about that story and I thought it would be fun to share. Um, 
because I'm sure everybody has an experience like that on their mission when you just something that just shuts both of you and your companion up and you don't talk for a while because of it. <laughs> but yeah, I um, hope you liked the video. Um, tell me some of your missionary stories down in the comments below. Love to hear it. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.